Okay, so there's a shower for the swimming pool. But this one, nice, nice. You have a PVC composite deck, some seating and a ceiling fan. It's nice, nice and relaxing. <laughs> okay, but we gotta start the house tour though, so let's go. Today we've got a brand new house and lot for sale in Phil Invest East. But first, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Precello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another Precello open house tour. So from the front, this is what you will see. You have a pedestrian gate in the middle and then vehicle gates on either side, both of which are manual. So let's go inside. I love how they're just bamboo trees in the middle. And it gives this really nice shade in your facade. So your facade is actually very interesting. You have a lot of shadow thanks to the sun. But apart from that, even if, there were, even if the sun was hiding behind clouds, you'd be able to appreciate all the different textures, colors, contrast, and everything else that makes this house stand out. You know, it looks very nice, or it's very nice to look at rather. Okay, so again, as I mentioned, it's brand new, so you are going to see a lot of construction materials here and there, so please excuse those, but you will be able to appreciate the structure nonetheless. So you have a gate here on the rightmost, which will lead to the side. Of course, we'll get there eventually. You have a single carport here, quite spacious too, because it's not the pedestrian path going to the main entrance. And then on this side, you have another, uh, vehicle car slot so basically one gate for so actually that car slot is very wide so it depends on what vehicles you have you might be able to fit two in there again depending on what kind of vehicles but yeah so one or two over there and then one over here so two to three vehicle car slots okay so this is your main entrance I love how it's still modern and traditional at the same time but of course you have a modern lock so as we enter you'll see that everything else is basically very modern and very bright maaliwalas so you have this very high ceiling for your living area lots of windows sliding door that leads to the side then you have a view of your main stairs as well as the rest of the floor but before we proceed we have here these wooden slats that look decorative but they do have a purpose shoe cabinet it's a shoe cabinet so i love that it's right next to the main entrance okay so we're not gonna head up there yet let's explore the rest of the floor over here we have the powder room or the guest powder room it's one floor one step down you have a pedestal sink and your water closet and i love how it looks very minimalist but your floor is very interesting. And then over here we have a divider between the living area and the dining area. So obviously this is where your dining table is supposed to go. That's the reason why it's quite low. 
So you could comfortably fit in here a six to eight seater dining table, depending on the shape actually, but you know, more or less six to eight, maybe more if you have a square or something. So it depends. Again, you have a sliding door out here that will lead to this side. Then on this side, we have the kitchen. So you have an island counter with storage on either side, shelving type storage. So you can display your china or little knickknacks if you want. And then a U-shaped setup. So it's not a continuous U-shape though because there is a door over there. But yeah, you have your provision for your refrigerator. You have your built-in stove, oven, um, hood, sink, and then lots of storage. And a glass door over here that leads to the service area. Okay, so the service area is very nice. It's covered. You have here a screen door on your right side. Nope. <laughs> that. So again, it's still under it, it's it's in the wraps. Like finishing touches na lang, but they're still working on the house. It's super brand new. Okay, so that's gonna lead you back to the well, the backyard. <laughs> and then this one is gonna lead you to the front. So you have your built-in counter over here along with the sink and then provision for your washing machine. So the entire area is closed while still being open. So it's not closed. You can have your laundry here and not worry if it's So this is the gate that will lead you back to the, one of the carports. And then over here we have your staff quarters. So you're gonna hear some mumbling in the background. So that's the tech being installed. Hindi pa kasi tapos. Kaya bakit na talagang kayo ko ano yung sound niya. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So now over here, next to the kitchen, we have bedroom number one. So we have this much space, and ah, oh, I love the contrast of this room. You have some diffused whites, and then you have this dark taupe color. So it's in between, it, it's a warm gray, more like, it's not, it's not really beige. Taupe, by the way, is the midway of beige and gray, okay? It's not grayish, it's taupe. Okay, so it's very dark, but it's not, it's not gray. It's, 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 or rather, it's not your typical gray, it's very warm gray. And it looks so good next to your wood-like tiles. So they look like wood planks, but they are tiles. And of course you have the natural light coming in from the sliding doors, which eventually we will go out to the backyard. So that's the view. And then you have your built-ins over here. I love that it's flush in the wall. But yeah, you have your storage or your shelving and your hanging lines. Then on this side, we have the long suite, toilet and bath, with your sink, water closet, and partially enclosed shower space. With a frosted window here for privacy, and then an awning up here so that uh, you can open it for ventilation. No need for ventilation since you have a high ceiling anyways. Uh, ventilation, but no need for a vent. <laughs> Iba yung vent sa ventilation lang. Okay, all right, so in this area, you have a more private um, living space. It's more of a family area, if you will, or an extension of your living room, so since it is on the ground floor. But yeah, it's kind of from the main entrance. You don't immediately see it from the entrance, which is nice. Yeah, you can have a couch set up over here. You have your TV over there. So, this is the seating arrangement nyo with the TV. And then your living area, this hobby lang side, it's just for talking and conversing. And then again, we have a sliding door. Finally, we can go through it. And this is gonna lead you to your backyard where you have a nice swimming pool. It's the perfect size for dipping and for doing quick laps for, you know, maintenance <laughs> for your exercise and just so you can get moving in water. You can also have a nice lanai over here with a ceiling fan. You can see a nice setup over here and it's just chill, you know? This is the kind of backyard that's nice whether it was raining or sunny or cloudy. It's gonna be very chill. Okay, so from here you have side access on either side. So obviously the other one is gonna lead you to your service area. 
whereas this one is gonna lead you back out to your carport as well as to the other sliding doors that's gonna lead you back in here so you're dining and you're living okay so that is it for the ground floor i love how you can see the shadows right what time is it it's about uh, 3 p.m so obviously in the morning this is going to be nice and then as the sun set it's also going to be really nice okay so we're going to head up now but before we do check this out it's very nice and clean looking because you only have the wood for the handrails and then glass for the rest seemingly just one seamless look right and very unobstructed okay so here in the mezzanine level you can say we have a door and this is storage so it's a few steps up very high ceiling so since my space the manito why not use it right so it's more for storage you can probably install or purchase some uh, industrial shelves but in vertical height magamit. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you hit like and click subscribe. We see you guys watching our videos and we super appreciate it. But some of you, a lot of you, <laughs> haven't subscribed yet. So this is a friendly reminder to do so. Okay, so here on the second floor, we have some space. You could probably put a table here. A console table, more for decorative items or things that you might want to quickly be able to grab the like keys or something so it's up to you how you um, like your layout and then on this side we have another glass door this one leads to your balcony a huge balcony might i add so you have here some again contrast you have the whites or the creams you have the dark gray and then you have this glass over here which again makes it feel more open and less obstructed right you have a view of your bamboo and it's just a nice spot imagine having a nice setup over here and uh drink as the sun sets it's gonna be very nice okay so you have a lot of balcony space and when you go inside again you have a hallway so again console and then bedroom hallways on this side so the first room that you will see is this one so you have a lot of space here right still high ceiling here on the second floor uh there are no feature lights yet so my abang lang so it's up to you what kind of um light you want in the middle better meron naman ng mga down lights or pin lights you have your built-in shelving for your entertainment or your tv you have your wardrobe and then your ensuite toilet and bath with your sink water closet and fully enclosed shower space might i add you have a huge awning window over here oh my god okay and it comes with a screen nothing like the awning window me small so that's nice it lets in a lot of air and again, you don't need a uh, vent anymore since that is ventilation enough. The doors are standard, but it still feels very high because you see that space above there. And you can really tell now by high ceiling. But you hold it. Okay, so now we have that was bedroom number two. This is bedroom number three, aka the master bedroom. We have this much space you can fit a king-sized bed although it's up to you you can use a queen size etc you have outlets on either side for your end tables and more space actually to put i don't know maybe a chase lounge or something so it's up to you or maybe a desk a window here and then you already have this built in i love this pattern you might have already seen these in other videos but yeah the herringbone pattern it's just zoomed in <laughs> the pattern and then of course we have a long suite toilet and bath as well as a walk-in closet so the walk-in closet does not have any doors anymore you have your shelving here your hanging rods more shelves drawers a frosted window and an awning window up top for ventilation 
and this is of course temporary, but more shelving. And this is the actual ensuite for the bathroom or sink, water closet, and fully enclosed shower space. And again, with a huge, well, you can see it there, a huge awning window. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, by the way, lighting door shut. <laughs> And bedroom number four. This one is not yet finished. <laughs> but here is your flush walk, uh, wardrobe. You have your built in over there. You can bring you all with the dark gray and the wood. But we can't go there because you can shut the cross. But I can show you the all suite, toilet and bath with your sink. Water closet and enclosed shower space. I just want to point this out. It looks so clean because it's the only keep in you. Right? Of course, there are piping underneath, but it's very neat. But this makes it very easy to maintain and you can add uh, more organization carts, if you will, underneath if you needed it. So that's nice. Hindi parang ang sa mata. Okay, so you only have two floors, but it feels like a lot of space, mostly because, well, just looking at this, you actually do have a lot of space. And that being said, it's time for a recap. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, you have two stories, but man, you have so much vertical height, right? When the um, high ceiling areas are high ceiling, it's really, High ceiling. You have four bedrooms, four toilet and baths, and a three vehicle carport, again, depending on what kind of vehicles you have. Uh, and you have two manual gates on either side of your pedestrian gate. You have a lanai, a swimming pool. One of the bedrooms is here on the ground floor. You have an enclosed service area via the kitchen and staff quarters with their own toilet and bath, or en suite toilet and bath. And uh, yeah, it's in a very neat and modern package, and it's here in Philinvest East. So if you're anyone you know is interested in a place like this, send this video to them, or if you want to see it for yourself, as you should, send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.